Tax. <risa> a ver, quita. A ver, quita. First of all, I just want to ask you, if you haven't yet, of course, to lay an eye on my two previous videos about the AMD FreeSync slash VRR and the new episode of PC Doc that I don't really know if you actually haven't received the notification or if you simply have no interest in actually watching the video, okay? That's, that's what I actually want to know, but in case you haven't received the notification, well, just go to the video section, the episode is there, it's in a new format, better editing, uh, also with a new guest, so lay an eye on it. We have some interesting PCs there as well, so yeah. As for this video, we have the review of the new Adrenaline Drivers, the 23.4.2, and as I say in all my videos, 23 is the year 2023, 4 is the month April, and 2 is the second revision in that same month, so the second revision of April. As for these drivers, they are still uh, recommended, so no optional drivers, they are now recommended. It's like the fourth driver in a row that is recommended by AMD, starting with the 23.3.1, I believe. Okay, so there's a lot of recommended drivers. And as I said of the previous one, the, tw the previous ones, the 23.4.1, they were awesome for me. At least for me, once again, they were awesome. And these, I can tell you right away that these are even better. But let's start with the release notes. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. We have highlights with support for Dead Island 2, up to 14% increase in performance in Dead Island 2, 4K, using the RX 7900 series GPUs versus the 23.4.1 drivers, up to 15% increase in performance in Dead Island 2, 4K when using the 6000 series versus the previous 23.4.1 drivers. Then we also have su support for Boundary, and we have support for more additional Vulkan extensions. You can click there for more information. These Vulkan extensions may be, for example, due to uh, some ray tracing, as they may be some ray tracing extensions. Things are actually getting better and better uh, each day for Vulkan API, so that's, that's a very good thing. As for the fixed issues, we have blocky water corruption may occur in Red Dead Redemption 2 when using the Vulkan API, and this is actually one of the most annoying issues on the previous two driver versions, where people using Vulkan API in Red Dead Redemption 2 were having the blocky water textures in between other things like foliage and so on, so it seems to be fixed in these new drivers once again, so if it is fixed, if you are using or if you are playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption, using Vulkan and you have this issue, leave a comment in the comment section letting me and us know if the problem is fixed now or not. Missing text or white desk may appear in Google Earth VR, also fixed. Application crashes may be intermittently observed after enabling the render preview window in Unreal Engine 5. A blank or black screen may occur after a driver upgrade using certain display configurations. That's something new that I actually haven't seen before. A blank or, or black screen may occur uh, after driver upgrades. Well, it seems that some people had this issue and they reported and it is now fixed. Once again, if it is fixed for you, leave a comment in the comment section saying it is. Or if it isn't, of course. As for the known issues, we still have the meme High Idle Power has situationally been observed when using select high resolution and high refresh rate display panels on the RX 7000 series GPUs. And I do believe that this is something more hardware related than software related because we're talking about, let's say, half an year. So six months, possibly not six months, but close to five months. And we still have no um, no fixes for these, for these issues. So it's kind of annoying. People with, with mostly people with 4K 120 Hz displays, they have lots uh, and lots of issues with the idle power draw, okay? Uh, sometimes they have 80, 100 watts just sitting on the desktop without anything more to do. In my case, I have 12 watts, so it's perfectly fine. 1440p ultra wide, 160 Hz, but this is a very, very annoying issue, leading me to believe that this is more hardware sided than software sided. They did improve a lot from the beginning, uh, from the initial driver, sorry, 
story. Uh, for example, the video playback on my case went from 80 watts on the initial drivers to 35 watts, so they did improve that department, um, maybe due to the power states and so on. But in some scenarios, it seems to be nearly, um, nearly impossible to fix. I hope I'm wrong, but damn. Those people, if I actually had that idle power draw, I would send the card back immediately. And I would get an NVIDIA one. I'm, I'm being sincere. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Video stuttering or performance drops may be observed during gameplay and video playback with some extended display configurations on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs once again, an issue with the new RDNA 3 cards. Some virtual reality games applications may experience lower than expected performance on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs. And once again, um, I must tell you that, I mean, it seems that the previous driver, the 23.4.1, 20, the actually decreased the performance in emulators uh, and on emulators, sorry, uh, and virtual reality headsets for some people, okay? And it seems that the 23.3.2 performed better than the 23.4.2. So let me know about these drivers, the, the current ones, the 23.4.2, if they perform better, uh, equal or even worse in terms of virtual reality, okay? I just really want to know because, well, that's what I do, I want to know things, I like to know things. Water corruption in Hogwarts Legacy may occur on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 580 and that's all for the known issues. As for the important notes, we still have factory reset has been temporarily disabled as a precautionary measure while we address isolated installation issues that have been reported during PC upgrades. Users may use AMD cleanup utility as a temporary option. I do advise you to use DDU once again. If you don't know how to use DDU, watch this video that I made some weeks ago, okay? It will guide you step by step how to use DDU and how to properly install and uninstall drivers drivers, being them AMD, Nvidia or Intel. Now as my experience with these drivers, we have good and bad things as in all drivers, usually being once again them from AMD, Nvidia or Intel. And as for the good ones, I noticed that on my 7900 XTX, we actually have much smoother gameplay in Hogwarts Legacy, okay? The average FPS are higher, uh, but most importantly the 1% the lows are much higher, okay? And, and this on my 7900 XTX, okay? Hogwarts Legacy performs much better. We also have much better performance in Dead Island 2, of course, because these are the day zero drivers for Dead Island 2, with the 7900 XTX and the 6650 XT as well. Uh, the full idle power uh, is actually better for me, 1 watt lower from 12 to 11 watts, but it doesn't really matter once again on the 7900 XTX. Video playback, it is around the same, 35 to 38 watts, which is perfectly normal. As for the Cyberpunk 2077 performance, with the new 1.62 patch, the, the, the one that has been released, the one that has path tracing and so on, the performance with the 23.4.1 drivers actually decreased a bit. But as soon as I installed the new ones, the 23.4.2, the performance went back to normal values, okay, which is a which is a really, really good thing. So if you play Cyberpunk a lot, these drivers are mandatory in order to have the performance that you should have from the beginning in this, in this new patch, of course, 1.62. So I'm stuttering a lot. I don't know if it's because of the light. There's a lot of light here. I, I know that you don't see it in the video, but there's a lot of light. That's why I'm doing these eyes. It's, yeah, hard to see. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. We also have lots of fixes, uh, which is very nice. And we also have the intake temperatures that are back again. So they were added firstly on the 23.3.1 drivers, I believe. They were then taken off on the on the next drivers and then they added them back on, on the 23.4.2 drivers, which are the ones that we have now. Although it is better now because the intake temperatures will only appear to the cards that are, that are actually supporting them instead of, uh, of being there and not available they will just appear in the cards that support it okay usually the reference cards from uh, from AMD on the 7900 XTX I believe those are the only ones that support those and that have those sensors uh, but I I'm not gonna lie I don't really know for sure but I believe that's the case and as for the bad things well CRU still doesn't work custom resolution utility still doesn't work with the Radeon RX 7000 series uh, and according to Toasty X the developer of custom resolution utility 
uh, it is due to AMD that didn't include some files that they should or some references that they should and since they don't do that uh, you can't actually change that via custom resolution utility okay that's at least what he says I don't know if he's correct or not but that's what he says as for the other bad thing which is actually the second and final bad thing of these drivers that I found it's that the 6650 XT uh, actually performs better in that island overall higher averages higher 1% lows but the frame pacing is a little bit messed up okay uh, so you can't really notice it I must tell you but if you actually enable MS Afterburner you can see that the frame pacing is a little bit messed up uh, more than before although you have more average uh, and 1% lows but yeah that's the frame pacing issues and yeah that's it so way way more good things than bad things at least for me. And well guys, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Once again, Lay and I on the PC Doctor episode 3. Very nice episode with some really funny parts. Nor the timings. <laughs> My <laughs> that, that friend. Jesus. My brother is a literal Russian speaking right now. Right now. <laughs> I mean, it's my brother. <laughs> it's the Ram. <laughs> anyway, I make these videos for us for us as a community to share our our experiences with our drivers uh, to see which driver works best for who uh, if these drivers work better for you or not once again leave a comment in the comment section share your experience because that's why I make these videos and before finishing the video I just want to thank MD for sending me the the serial key of the Death Island 2 okay they sent it to me in order to test it with the uh, with the new drivers I believe uh, so thank you and finally after you guys asked a lot and after I uh, I myself asking a lot to AMD they finally did it and they finally sent the 6950 XT so the 6950 XT to stay for the channel uh, not to send back finally so we have an ASRock Phantom is it's it's actually my first ASRock card my first ASRock card 6950 XT and we can finally do a 6950 XT versus 7900 XT versus 7900 XTX uh, in between many other videos, okay? I really wanted to do, to test this card versus the newer ones, but I didn't have one and the prices are crazy. So, yeah, I asked AMD a lot. You asked me, I asked AMD and they finally sent one. Also, once again, the first as rock card that I will test. Let's see how it goes. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Let's now watch the performance part. I'm clean. What about all you? Uh, just a few bruises. I think we got lucky. I, I, I'm Michael. Uh, Bruno. Oh, this is fucking tremendous. <laughs> Emma, darling, I'm so sorry about Robert. Why? I mean, this is all his fault, the selfish wanker. Will you stop standing there and find me some fucking shoes? You okay, friend? You know there's blood coming out your ears, right? What? I can't hear you! I got blood coming out of my ears! Well, I mean, what are we going to do?
venue. People, this is Emma Jaunt. Mm -hmm. Of course you know what a huge star she is, Romero winner no less. We need to get her home to safety. Uh, what was that? Careful. Here it goes. Oh, hey. My... My wife. Alive. Uh, Philip Hoskins. 